Hi, everyone. This is Joe Gigrich from GigWorks. And today I'm joined by Omar Stewart, one of our top solution architects here at GigWorks. And what we want to do is showcase how to pull together the rich set of features of Microsoft Office 365 and M365 to deliver a user-friendly, end-to-end business solution. Microsoft has the best set of tools and platforms for business in the market today, but the value of technology is to provide solutions for the business. As the Microsoft Cloud continues to advance, working with our clients, we have found that the adoption of the powerful solutions available in the Microsoft Cloud are still too often addressed as standalone solutions, focusing on deployment over a unified experience serving the needs of the business users, your customers. So what we're going to show you today is how to bring together a modern Office 365 intranet, beginning with the SharePoint Starter Kit, and seamless integration with Power Apps, Flow, Microsoft Teams, and bots driven by Microsoft AI, which is Lewis, or Language Understanding Intelligence Services, and Power BI with data residing in Microsoft Azure SQL that pulls information from external data sources, from SharePoint itself, et cetera. And so we're going to show you how this combination of tooling can solve problems for HR and IT and other business groups, and how you can leverage the same toolkit, really lower the amount of time it takes you to deliver to the business, and create and deliver a user experience that, regardless of the context of that business unit, is the same to the end user, which will really drive adoption. So, Omar, take it away. What we're looking at is the starter kit for the SharePoint site, like you mentioned. Um, it's just a very modern, this is a responsive and friendly looking page for our portal. So if I scroll down, a lot of the links are um, intuitive, self-explanatory, but um, the nice thing is this is all very easy to edit and it's fully dynamic. Um, so because I'm an administrator here, I have access to adding events and news. You can see these buttons here that just let me um, go ahead and click on add event. I can create an event and this would show up right on the home page. And that only happens because I'm an administrator. Um, just as easily, I can snap this page into edit mode by just clicking this blue edit button here. And we can see that I can click on any one of these modules or web parts and make changes. So um, as an example, I have a, a live PowerPoint document here. If I click on our edit button, we can just click change file and point to a different PowerPoint presentation. If I also scroll down, we can see some other nice uh, widgets, some clocks and um, images. Again, this is just showcasing how easy it is to uh, get content on a page. Uh, if you have some news that you need to add uh, very quickly for all of your employees to see, you don't have to go through a long drawn out process. Um, you just have our news module here and we just click on add and our news will show up right on the home page. And Omar, and if you would too, because we're starting using that uh, starter kit. Um, do you want to explain a little bit about the starter kit and how that helped you get to this point in the internet? Sure. So um, the nice thing is, um, you know, provisioning in uh, Office 365 is getting more and more advanced, but at the same time becoming uh, more and more easy to deploy. So from a uh, centralized portal, I was able to go in and select the type of site that I wanted. In this case, it was uh, a marketing site, an HR site, and I clicked on provision and just very little customization to the content. It pretty much provisioned the site that we see here with a global and centralized uh, navigation. Um, so we, we have full blown sites, we have a human resources site, marketing site, IT and legal site. Um, and, and these are pre-canned best practices from Microsoft that take what would have been weeks down to a few days to get to this point, right? Correct. And we can use this as a starting point and then templatize this for new sites going forward. If I click on create site as an example to your point, we can see we have these types of sites. So if I were to select a communication site, we can select designs where I start with the guidance from Microsoft, but I can create our own designs that we can add on top of a template. So we start with best practices and then tailor it to become our best practices uh, very simply. 
Um, so that's the provisioning process. And this is our uh, landing site. Uh, so before I transition, we have some uh, links here. If you need to, uh, ev not everything has to be advanced dynamic content. If we need to link to things like um, an employee directory or uh, an FAQ page, we can do that as well. If I just go into my edit mode here, click on our links, uh, click on edit, and then configure our link. So you can see this is just a set of links on the page and I can change the icon. So I have this pointing to some more dynamic content as well as static content. Um, it just makes it very quick and easy to uh, set up your home page or any page. So next, I'm gonna jump over to our HR site. I'll just click on departments. Um, we have this being rolled up with just a simple drop down navigation. With SharePoint Online now, you can uh, quickly add a mega menu without using any uh, fancy or custom code. Um, it's all out of the box. So a mega menu is a full blown menu here that underneath the top navigation, I could have what looks like a section of a page or another big chunk of links right underneath um, any category here. So like so, flyouts, if you will. Uh, similar to flyouts, but it almost looks like an entire page right below each section. Oh, that's cool. Um, Previews are kind of like OWA does. Exactly. So I could have um, IT support here, and then I can have a, a set of links in multiple columns underneath IT support. I mean, it's good for scenarios where a large set of teams, a large set of sub projects, and, and rich content that needs to show up um, inside the menu. Um, so our first link here under our standard navigation is HR. So I'm just going to click on that. We have our optimistic web part here, just counting down towards the new year. But you can see we have our edit button. So everything on the HR page, best practice, well-designed page that we built using the starter pack and just tweaked a little bit. So I can do the same thing. I can snap this into edit mode, uh, but you've pretty much seen all of that. So there's nothing um, too different. We have just another PowerPoint, uh, another set of events and more backgrounds. Uh, but you can see that it does give you access to these full width sections, uh, these fixed width sections right on the same page. And this is again, it's responsive and mobile friendly. So I'll just scroll down to give you a glimpse of the page here. We have some nice links, but I also just added in a uh, a link here to create a time off request. And this just kind of speaks to, if you're coming from a, an, an older version of SharePoint, it kind of speaks to the point that lets you know that you don't lose any of that functionality. You still have all of the power of, of Office and SharePoint available to you. It just, it's, it's a lot easier to present that functionality now. So uh, we just created a link here, but if I click on create new request, it's gonna take me to a power app, just a, a SharePoint list behind the scenes that allows me to fill in um, some time off that I'm looking to take. So uh, this is just a very simple time off request form. And so here we're showing uh, essentially power apps and flow, correct? Correct. Can I turn some notes? Trip. Uh, let's just put a trip to Jamaica. See how that goes, and then I'll click on save, and that's it. It takes me to my time off request view, so I can see all my time off requests. I can see that a flow ran and then kind of set some properties. It's automatically approved for me. Um, but the nice thing is if I now go back to our site contents, because my request was automatically approved, we have a flow running on that Power App or, you know, I'll, power automation happening here. And if I go to our time off calendar, what happens is the event automatically gets added uh, to the calendar here. So um, that's essentially it. It's a simple um, flow that updates the calendar and just make it, it's a very straightforward flow that, that gets this done. Uh, so there's our calendar. We still have all of the SharePoint calendar goodness there that we can sync to our phones and our Outlook. But I'm going to go back to our HR page and, and call out a few more things. 
I scroll down below our create time off request, you can see we have this little window here. So it's a little bit hidden here, but of course we can customize that on the page however we want to. But if I just go ahead and type in hello here, you can see this is a, um, a bot running behind the scenes here, just uh, embedded on the page. And if I just talk to the bot a little bit, it's gonna ask how it can help me. And this is using you know, language services to kind of interpret uh, what I mean. And this gets better and better over time with AI. So I typed in hello, but that's not necessarily the endpoint that had to be defined. So similarly, I can type in different things and as this bot gets smarter and as we configure it and train it, it will help us guide our users to the intended content. Um, as an example, uh, I'm just gonna type in, uh, because I'm in an HR site, something I may wanna see is how many people did we hire last year? And it took that sentence and just kind of guessed intelligently that I'm looking for HR reports. Um, and it's presenting this information to me in an adaptive card. Um, it's a, just a nice way of presenting your content consistently. And uh, it, it's showing me these uh, HR reports and then I can click on them, these one of two reports here, uh, as an example, retention reporting to get an idea uh, presented by Power BI and our reporting services. So that link takes us to uh, this section in our report. It's showing me our actives and our separations. Um, this is just sample data pulling from a, um, being presented in a Power BI report coming from an uh, Azure SQL database. Um, and it lets me um, view the report, but also it gives me all the interactivity um, that a Power BI report provides. So, this is fully interactive. It's not just a, a picture of the report. So I can drill down and see the types of employees um, and click through and filter, and zoom in and get the exact type of um, data that I need to find uh, very quickly. And it's a very rich and intuitive experience right on the page. And some of this data, if I'm not mistaken, is also pulling, uh, or at least potentially pulling from like your directory. Absolutely, we can aggregate data from uh, many different sources and surface it in a single report here. So this could be in your HR system, this could be in the directory inside SharePoint, and we could do a mashup um, back in Azure SQL and present it through Power BI. Absolutely. And if I go back to the, um, HR page for a second. I'm just gonna scroll down and you see that, um, you know, this bot is on the page, but there's a lot of reuse that you get with using uh, the modern stack. So I have it surfaced on the page here, but we also have access to our bot and team. So if I were to open up uh, my team, I have my help bot linked here. Um, you can see it's asking me for my name, so I'm just say Omar again. It's asking how it can help me, and I can do the same thing. I can say, show me last year's hires. And you can see I used a different query, uh, but it's intelligently translating that. It'll catch my typos, and it'll still show me the HR reports. Um, and this is the same bot, it's the same engine uh, driving this information here. And this is the point of the modern Office or Microsoft uh, cloud ecosystem, is that it's the real, it's understanding that you have the same business needs, but people need to access things in the context of where they work and how they work. And this is a way to bring it together uh, for one unified experience with the same result. Uh, so some other things I can do with the bot are, um, this particular bot allows me to submit uh, ticket requests. Uh, just to show you as another end point, uh, I'm gonna say my phone is broken. And I'm not sure if it's gonna guess this is a report it did. Um, so it's saying enter a, a description for my report and I can say mobile device 
keeps restarting. And I can enter in a callback time. I'll say 9 a.m. And then I will enter in a phone number. 07110. And then this is a serious bug. I can see it's parsing that information and submitting that information uh, to the back end. Uh, if I go back to our site and I'm going to go to IT support, essentially what we can do is take that information and then scroll down and, you know, that information would feed uh, our SharePoint information here. So we can track this in our IT site. Um, that's not actually wired up, but it's very simple to, to make that connection. So if I were to go into tickets, we can see our IT tickets here. And that information can feed our IT support site. So those are just some of the other things that you can do uh, with your bot and with the system. One stack, one approach, but the ability to reiterate and reuse uh, in the context of the business, uh, the same kind of powerful solution. And the other thing that I've noted over the years as well is it really is, you know, really is all about the user experience and the, the fact that you can use the same tooling, the same approaches, get efficiency in reuse. But by the same token, deliver a solution whose user experience is the same, whether or not it's in the context of IT or HR, does an awful lot to drive adoption. You're not constantly training people and also some little nuanced one-offs. Fair enough? Yeah, absolutely. Then that, that's pretty much it. That's the uh, kind of end-to-end, -end, just a quick walkthrough and overview of this uh, modern portal that we have here. Thank you, Omar. And we hope that we showed today how to really unleash the power of the Microsoft Office 365 stack to rapidly build an end-to-end -end series of solutions for the business customer we all serve. Thank you, and hope you join us next time.